Hey guys, I'm going to do a uh, benchmark test with two. That's right, two Intel Xeon CPUs in the R810. So, since I could not use a 2860s in this model, I had to um, order different CPUs. And the manual just is really weird how it explains it, but once I figured it out, that only 4400s, no 4800s and 8800s are supported in the R810. So we're going to do the benchmark with two 10 core CPUs. And it is a 2860 uh, 10 core. It has 1.3 megabytes level 3 cache, level 1 cache. Level 2 is 5 megabytes, and level 3 is 48 megabytes. This is combined for two CPUs. So since this, this is a server, we're going to do the CPU test only. So let's run it. So you guys might hear the fan spin up to high, pretty fast speeds. So you guys can ignore that. So and let's start it. So right now we're doing an energy math. You will see the CPU pretty go fast. Compression. You guys can see the mouse is lagging, but all the cords are maxed out. All 40 cores are being used. So, results. We have twenty-three thousand two hundred eighty-eight point three overall for the whole CPU. Now, if we match that up with the uh, Intel sheet, if you look over here, we pretty much whop the Intel Xeon E5 2690v4 out of the water. So, price comparison, I'd honestly get two Xeons uh, E7s with 2860s versus these ones for how close it is. And it is the fourth in line the CPU, and they don't list it on here. See what else? Energy math was 8940. Floating point math 10362. Frames per second. So overall this server is right now running Windows Server 2012. And this is just to update it. I'm not updated. Do benchmark tests and do other configurations, just play around with it before I install ESXi. And um, yeah, I will be doing a somewhat similar walkthrough with ESXi installation, but um, that's pretty much it. An overall little overview for you guys can see. Um, it only has one 147GB drive, 15,000K. It's 135 at 147. Um, what was that? So yeah, overall, I'm pretty uh, happy with the results, and we'll just see when I get my new E4850, 50s, I believe, can't remember off the top of my head, I purchased 8 of them, it was a good chunk of change, but it'll be actually uh, more tests with that, so we'll see how Four CPUs versus two. How is it? It's number two in the list or number one in the list of what they have on the website. But overall, we'll just see. We're not gonna expect anything. So yeah, stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe for the video. See you guys.